This video is for some questions with compound interest. For compound interest, there's two different formulas that you need to know. So the first formula is A equals P1 plus R over N to the NT power. So A is the final amount or what you get after you accure this interest. P is the initial amount. R is your rate, and we always put it in our formula as a decimal. Most of these questions are going to give it to you as a percent, and you need to convert it. N is the number of times compounded each year. So if it's compounded daily, it would be 365. If it's compounded monthly, it would be 12. Weekly would be 52. And then T is the time in years. So this is the first formula that you're going to be seeing. The next formula is A equals P e to the rt. This is whenever you see compounded continuously. So for this, a and p, r and t are all still the same. The only difference is the e. e is going to be the number in your calculator unless they tell you otherwise. So you're not actually going to substitute for e. It's just going to be the number in your calculator, and we'll go through how to do that. So let's look at the first question. If $5,000 is invested in Sasha's bank account at a rate of 3% interest compounded quarterly, that's important, what is the value of the investment in five years? So if I'm compounding quarterly, I'm going to use that first formula. So here's my first formula. P is the initial. So the initial amount we have is $5,000. R is the rate. They told us that it was a rate of 3%, and when I convert 3% to a decimal, it's going to be 0 0.03. N is the number of times I'm compounding. I'm compounding quarterly, so quarterly happens four times a year. And T is the time in years. They want to know after five years how much money will Sasha have. So I've identified all of my variables. I'm just going to substitute in. A equals 5,000, 1 plus 0 0.03 over 4 to the 4 times 5 power. And then I'm going to go to my calculator and type that in. 5,000, parentheses, 1 plus alpha y equals, to set up my fraction, 0 0.03 over 4 to the exponent of 4 Oops, times 5. There we go. And there is the amount that we'll have, and we always want to round to the nearest cent if they don't tell us, but in this case, we have a multiple choice, so let's hope we find our answer. And we do. Choice 3. Okay. Let's look at another one. Adrian invests $10,000 at an annual rate of 5% compounded continuously. Determine to the nearest dollar the amount of money he will have after two years. So if I'm compounding continuously, I'm using the formula A equals P E to the RT power. So P is my initial, so I'm starting with 10,000. E, remember, is a number in your calculator. R is the rate, so I have 5%, which when I convert to a decimal, is 0 0.05, and T is the time in years, and they told us two years. So I'm going to substitute in. A equals 10,000 E to the 0 0.05 times 2 power. And now I go to my calculator. So 10,000 E is going to be when I hit second LN, which is right next to the 4. And I have my power of 0 0.05 times 2. 11,051 dollars 
and 70 cents or 71 cents, but they wanted us to round to the nearest dollar. So if I'm rounding to the nearest dollar, that means no decimals. So I have $11,052. Nearest cent is two decimal places, nearest dollar is no decimal places. All right, which equation could be used to determine the value of Ashley's account after eight years if she invested $750 at a rate of 3% compounded continuously? And then they want us to justify our answer. So continuously is the formula A equals PE to the RT. That's what compounded continuously means. So automatically I can cross off choices one and four. And now I'm looking between two and three and the only difference is the rate. The 3% you have to convert to a decimal of 0 0.03. So my answer is choice two because that was correctly converted from a percentage to a decimal. All right, let's look at one last question. Which equation models the value of an account with $18,000 initial investment at an interest rate of 1.25% compounded continuously for 24 months? So compounded continuously is A equals P E to the R T. So my initial is 18,000, which all of my answer choices have. E is staying, my rate is 1.25% which when I convert to a decimal is 0 0.0125. So I can cross off choices one and two because those do not have the correct conversion for a percentage to a decimal. And then T is the time in years. So I need to take this 24 months and convert it into two years. So my answer is choice three.